Hello and welcome back to Toon Door Gaming. It's day two of my tutorial series. Uh, well, let's get right into it. We've uh, done the bed and the processor. What we need is some coal as our next project. Now, there's two best ways to find coal is, uh, as I said in the previous episode, if there's some handy mountains near you, then often you'll just see it on the side of the uh, the mountain. Oh, I'll grab these turnips. They'll be good for farming later. We see uh, veggies like that. Pick them up. And always, as always, grab some mushrooms. So I'll just have a little peek over here. Uh, no, I don't see any in the distance. Okay, so the other way to get coal is to just go down into caves and look for it on the wall. If you just make your own tunnel. Whoop, here we go. Oh, forgot about that biome being nearby. This guy is very important for obsidian armor. He gives you these feral pig skins. Uh, there we go. Um, yeah. Oh, poison resistance potion. Yeah, feral pigsy fur. That comes up later. That'll be. Uh, very necessary later. We want to stay away from that biome, but we're just looking for little caves. We can go and look for them, look for coal on the walls. Like I was saying, if you dig yourself, you can dig for ages and miss every coal node uh, on the way down to the netherworld. So, uh, here we go, there should be plenty around. Cool, so as long as you've got a few torches. Light your way, and you just might encounter some of those more of those crab dudes to get some of the shells you need. Okay, I see some magnetite there that will be important soon for some recipes. Oh, a silver chest! Cool, you will get chests at night, they do spawn above ground, and um, but you get wooden chests. Oh, this is a stone treasure chest, so it's got slightly better stuff. Well. Oh, okay. We're in it now, and I pressed the wrong button. Let's try this again. These guys will spin you around with that attack. As you see, I lose my way, I get a little blind, and now I am in trouble. <laughs> this is the danger with cave diving for coal, is the mobs you'll encounter. So you may just want to go exploring instead until you find a mountainside rather than um, what I'm trying to do. Uh, I will eat a mushroom while I'm fighting. Hopefully keep me alive. But don't be surprised if I do not survive this encounter. Because I have zero armor. Okay. Yay! Well, that is a surprise. I'll take those. Now, did that other guy drop him? Have a drop? Should be here somewhere. Oh, what's down there? That's a feral pigsy. Hmm. So what happened to the other guy? Did he just zap himself out of the way? Or did I actually kill him? I don't know. Is that mushrooms? Yeah, that's mushrooms. Anyway, either I'll find, find his bag or I won't. That was a Miru. And Miru eyes are the important drop that they give you. Ugh, feral pigsy. The weird thing with the mobs is that they will run to the point where they first saw you before they get their bearings on you again. So often you can use that to your advantage. Keep them running backwards and forwards and get some free shots in. I prefer my other technique personally, but whoop, especially as I'm almost... Oh, this would be funny, wouldn't it? I survived the other fight battle to die to a pigsy. Okay. Good. I gotta get remember my mushrooms. Well, this has been an eventful day two already. Um, like I said, yeah, I, you probably would prefer just searching for a mountainside, but it can get very painful 
if they're far away. Uh, I don't think I can harvest. No, I can't magnetite yet. I need the next level of mining cell up. Let's clear. I see I've got too many things tracked on the side. So I want to go Q for my crafting inventory. I no longer need the door tracked. So we'll take that off. Um, oh, I've actually got what I need for a stone sword. So let's build that now. Certainly if I'm going to find any more mobs in here. Take that off track. Obsidian is the next level. See, Miru Eyes uh, is what you need for the obsidian as well as obsidian ore. Um, I won't track that just yet. It's obvious until I get obsidian there's no point. But what I can do now, take that sword out, put this one in. Much better. Don't need that in the inventory. Move that down. Alright, ooh! That's what I got from the chest. That gives you some sort of buff, I'm not sure what. And some TNT is good for blowing stuff up. Alright. Now this note you get at the start, um, ditch it, it's just telling you to do what I'm teaching you to do. Alright, time for another mushroom. Now we'll place a torch. And bingo, coal node. Okay, now did I make any... Well, isn't that clever of me? I did not make any of these yet. So let's do it. I don't have stone slabs. Okay, one extractor. I can show you how to do it at least. You whack that on, right click, that is going to show you. In one minute I'll get six clumps of coal, which is great. And you'll see around it, you'll find more. So it's good to dig around, otherwise you can wait for your node to uh, to finish. And then when you pick it up, you'll find the new one right behind it. And then you'll have to wait for that one to finish before you move on. So it's good to dig around. Just check there's not more that you're going to need to do. Ooh, I need that next one. Okay, well that's great. Now you need five coal to make a furnace. If I remember correctly, and that is obviously extremely important. Don't have any wood, right? And I'll take all of that and go back and actually craft some more slabs. So that was good. First, first cave I came to, I found what I needed. Now the easiest way to find my way back is to, well, first of all, get out of the cave. Now I want to come back here and get the rest of that coal. So I look for the X in my uh, compass at the top of the screen, head straight for it, and just basically leave a trail of torch crumbs. And there we are. Wasn't far away at all. Sometimes you'll find you're a long way away until you can build teleporters and whack one down so you can get to it. Um, that's just the quickest way to find your way there and back. So we go in here, we need to make a few more of those extractors. So we're going to need some stone slabs. Oh, get a bunch of those. Uh, I think I'm right for stone rods right now. The furnace I want to get. So I need stone slabs and bedrock. So that means I need to make this first. And there's some coal. Right. So, how did I get so much coal? That's a lot. So we'll craft that. And I'm up to the next level. I can't believe, I keep getting that message down the bottom. Uh, please ignore that. It is not an endorsement. In fact, it's the exact opposite. Alright. So, I've got this mining cell here. Oh, that backup one I got from the chest. And I don't need that one now. I'm officially in the next level of mining. So what I might do is... Um, yeah, I might just end the episode there. I've just shown you how to uh, find coal when there isn't a mountainside nearby. 
and how to use the uh, ex extractor for it. What I'll do before I start the next episode is just get a little more wood um, and make a few more of those extractors and then we'll look at going to uh, the next level with armor and uh, finding obsidian. Okay, thanks for watching.